Most people see an NFL player and think of money, fame, and glory. But when these eyes watch this NFL player, they see something very different. I was really shocked because I thought all of NFL football players, you know, had a perfect life. Michael Lehan's life has been anything but perfect. But to tell his story, you need to start at the beginning, as hard as that is. November 25, 1979, Michael was born to a single mother who already had her hands full. I know I was pretty sick when I was a little child, um, and she also had six children prior to myself, so and she was a, a single parent at the time, and uh, she thought that it would probably be uh, of my best interest uh, to put me up for adoption to, in, in hopes of giving me a, a better life. And that new life looked promising after Michael was adopted by Joe and Mary Lehan. But they would eventually split, first from each other, then from Michael. Michael was 14 when he made plans to sleep over at a friend's house for the weekend. It turned out to be much longer. There was plans to, to spend the night at the weekend just to just get a break. She needed a break, uh, break from me, I guess. And uh, ironically, the weekend, it never ended. It was the second time, you know, in the essence, the way I looked at it, that I got thrown away. And it, it, it kind of led me to think, you know, what's wrong with me? You know, well, how come nobody loves me? But he would find love with the Nordstrom family, who kept him much longer than a weekend. Michael stayed with them for four years until he left for college. And while success on the football field would follow, so would his past, no matter how hard he tried to outrun it. It was kind of one of those things that swept under the rug. It, it, it really was a uh, difficult thing to deal with, and I, I wish there was kids that I knew about that I could talk to. I was, uh, I was put up for adoption when I was uh, three months old. I was, Finding uh, understanding Texas, ears isn't a problem was, uh, anymore. An There's center. plenty at Hope and Home, a special child placement agency which provides homes for abused and neglected children. Kids who know Michael's story because it's their own. My caseworker was uh, looking for a new foster home for me, and so I moved up here with uh, Meredith, and I really like her, and I hope that she adopts me. What did you first think when you heard that Mike Lehan was from the foster care system? I was like, there are football players that are in foster care? Do you think that your experiences as a kid has made you a stronger adult? I definitely think so. Um, life is so difficult. It's hard enough as it is, and it, you just have to really just kind of take things day by day. The funny thing is is that uh, when, I, when I speak with foster kids, they think I'm, I'm sitting there, I'm doing a, a nice thing for talking to them, but really it's me getting some of the things off of my chest that I've never had the opportunity to talk about. And uh, just listen to their stories is encouraging uh, to me. When we, were, we first went in, we were in our rooms. She was crying, I was crying. I see so much strength and I see so much uh, courage. How did Michael's story change you and how you thought of yourself and your future? I thought that maybe just because we're foster kids, that means we're not going to be very big in life. And, you know, he really helped me because that's pretty awesome if he can be a, a foster kid. And now he's an NFL football player. Give it a good hurl. Now, I really want to be something out there, not just another person walking down the street. I really wanted to be someone that stood out. Every single child we have talked to has said the same thing, which is they were absolutely amazed to hear that you were a foster kid. And they had no idea that they could be special until they heard your story. I say they're special already. I don't think you have to be a uh, professional football player to be special. And just like they're surprised to see me that I was a foster kid, you know, that foster kids come in all shapes and sizes. Christian? How come bad things happen to good kids? I, I wish I knew. I wish I knew. I think that um, there's, there's, I guess there's bad things that, that happen um, to everybody, good kids, bad kids. I think that's, I think, I really just think that's life. I heard about uh, a, a young boy who was sexually abused by his father, his uncle, and, and doesn't trust men at all and has really been um, taken by you. How does that make you feel? I don't know. It's, it's hard to even find words to, to really describe the, the, the type of feeling that is. I mean, that's, you, you have a 10-year-old child and uh, 
their, their whole life is ahead of them and they've been oh man I can't even <laughs> I can't uh, oh man uh, I, I guess it's just for, for a 10 year old child to be able to, to find faith in me uh, a stranger that's that's just really something special. What's the one thing you'll remember that Michael Lehan said to you? That God won't put too much on your plate. He put just the right amount, and he'll put just the right amount of people if you let him. You grew up saying you were embarrassed to talk about where you came from, what your past was. Now looking back, how do you view your past, your history? I see it as the road traveled and uh, sometimes it takes detours, and sometimes there's construction, and sometimes there's delays, but it's my story. I'm just thankful to have the opportunity to share my story um, with the kids because that's, that's helping me uh, at the same time. So it, uh, it, it was a long road, it was a trying road, but uh, I, I, I'd like to think the best is still yet to come.